my friends in the Indiana Republican Party. Welcome back from the wilderness. Now after 16 long years, I think we're entitled to throw a party. Daniels likes to do and be the unexpected. When he was elected as governor in 2005, he took over a state that hadn't balanced its budget in eight Many years. Many states are battling billion-dollar budget deficits, but Indiana is singing a different tune. It's pulling itself out of a $700 million hole in 2005, right now sitting comfortably in the black. Within a year, Daniels had balanced Indiana's books. We are paying all our bills. We do have money still in reserve. We did it without raising taxes. A few meetings with him and his focus on the bottom line is hard to miss. Whether he's tackling an environmental project, welfare reform, or child protection. Mitch Daniels took his place at this rally, serving as the honorary chairman of a campaign to pass permanent property tax caps in November. Uh, here in Indiana, um, We've done uh, everything we know how, and this preceded the recession, to try to build the best sandbox in America, lower the cost of doing business, keep taxes down, particularly in this recession, make regulation fair and consistent, and uh, have, try to have the most inviting climate anywhere for jobs and investment. Governor, your state's private sector has added 46,000 jobs so far this year. That's a growth rate of 2%, which has tripled the national average. We've shaped our economy here to be, by all accounts, one of the most attractive to investment and growth and opportunity in the country. we built roads at record rates and then lowered property taxes to the lowest in the country, and we've made government work well. Governor Mitch Daniels signed into law his comprehensive education Daniels reform signed two package. education bills into law today. One expands the charter school system. The second creates a school voucher. changes the way Hoosier teachers will be hired, evaluated, Governor and Governor proposed full funding of statewide full-day kindergarten today. Right to work is now the law in now, Indiana. Wednesday, some big news. The Senate passed the right to work legislation. First time in 10 years the state has done so. Indiana ended the fiscal year in June a couple of months ago with a surplus of $830 million in a string of balanced... So why is Indiana in a different position right now than so many other states? 